Syria has been under siege for the last seven years. Fighting between rebels and the Syrian forces has displaced millions of people both within Syria and outside of it. Hundreds of villages and towns have been reduced to rubble and now bear a deserted look. Syria has several quote-unquote ghost towns now. Towns which were once bustling with people are now inhabitable. We on Kartikeya Sharma visited one such ghost town in the war-ravaged country and sent us this report. Take a look. Most of the Syrian urban settlements are like this. Yes, uh, certain areas have been redeveloped, like for example, Aleppo has been redeveloped. It is coming back to life, but most of the Syrian urban centers are like this. So imagine if there's a, if there's a bombardment takes place, if there's a war takes place in Idlib, then Idlib turns like this. Because when you have a war, the war takes place street to street. It takes place house to house. And bullets do not discriminate. Uh, artillery shells do not discriminate. You know, they actually break down colonies piece by piece. So, like Damascus, like Aleppo, like this historical town of Palmyra, it all, by end of the war, became like this. Because soldiers fought, ISIS was here, ISIS burned it down to its place, you know, completely burned down the town. So the largest story of Syria is, you have a number of ghost towns like this, and I don't know how many years it will take to clear all this. You know, this is, this is the reality of Syria, and this is what it has become, a completely dystopian town, you know. It is like this, you know, you can look here, you can look here, you can look anywhere. This is what has become of Syria. It's keeping international community on tenterhooks, but the bottom line is, that most of the Syria is like this, and it'll take years and years to get Syria on its feet again. With camera person, Manish Shivastav, Karthike Sharma, for Vion.